Tyrese Maxey is the most important player on the Philadelphia 76ers. After the Sixers were able to sweep the Brooklyn Nets in their first round matchup, Tyrese was certainly one of the best players on that team, as he played extremely well in basically each and every game, and he provided a ton for the Sixers. But going forward throughout the rest of the playoffs for Philadelphia, I think Tyrese Maxey is actually the most important player on this roster over guys like Joel Embiid and James Harden. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Tyrese Maxey was drafted with the number 21 overall selection during the 2020 NBA draft by the Philadelphia 76ers. And when Tyrese was being drafted, he was seen as an extremely talented young scorer, but there certainly were some questions and concerns on whether or not he could be a true point guard at the NBA level. But once Tyrese made it to the NBA and had his official first rookie season with the Sixers, he played pretty well, averaging 8 points per game on 1.7 rebounds on 2 assists. And those numbers don't necessarily jump out at you, but what Tyrese was doing really well in his rookie year was showing flashes of what he could potentially be. Of course, he wasn't showing a great ability to facilitate out there, but the Sixers didn't necessarily draft him for that. They more so drafted him to be a scoring punch coming off the bench or even potentially starting in the long-term future, and he was doing exactly that as he was showing that in certain flashes in his rookie year, which is exactly what you want to see from your younger guys. And after he got some experience under his belt in his rookie year, he completely completely broke out in his second season. As in year two, he bumped up his numbers across the board, averaging 17 points per game on 3.2 boards on 4.3 assists as well. And at that point, Tyrese was showing a very consistent ability to be a very efficient scorer out there. He was doing a great job at scoring for himself from that three-point range, did a really nice job at creating for himself, driving all the way to the basket. And overall, Tyrese was looking like a very special young talent and a guy that was going to be on the Sixers roster for the long-term future. And in his third season, which was this year, Tyrese once again improved his numbers across the board, averaging 20 points per game on 2.9 boards on 3.5 assists. Just an incredible improvement once again. And at that point, in my opinion, Tyrese really cemented himself as being the future of the Philadelphia 76ers. He was once again doing a phenomenal job at scoring for himself from all three levels, whether you talk about that three-point range, where he was extremely good, whether you talk about the catch and shoot, crossover, sidestep, even step back or he also had a great mid-range game with a nice one dribble pull up he had a really nice floater within his game but he also had a great ability to finish around the basket whether you talk about finishing around players with crafty laps, either his left or right hand had a great ability to even finish through contact at times with n1 finishes and just had a really nice touch at all three levels of the game and when you talk about a player that's that talented on all three levels you're talking about a very special type player and especially when you talk about a guy who's as young and has little experience as Tyrese does, it's even that much more impressive because you would expect him to get much better in the long-term future as well. And after his great regular season performance this year, in the playoffs in the sweep they had against the Brooklyn Nets, Tyrese once again played extremely well, especially in Game 2, where he put up 33 points on extremely efficient shooting numbers as well. So at this point, it's pretty clear that Tyrese is an extremely talented young player that has a very bright future ahead of him as well. But the question at this point is, why did I title this video, Tyrese Maxey is the most important player on the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, when you look at the Sixers, it's pretty clear that they have better players than Tyrese Maxey on their roster. You talk about a guy in Joel Embiid, who's certainly better than Tyrese, and you also talk about a guy in James Harden, who's probably a little bit better, although in my opinion, I actually think it's relatively close at this point. So the question is, why am I considering Tyrese Maxey to be the most important player on this roster? Well, in my opinion, when you talk about the most important player on a roster, you're not always talking about the best player. Sometimes you are, sometimes you're not, but in this case, I think Tyrese is actually the most important player on this roster, and I think so for a couple of reasons. Now, the first reason that I want to touch upon is expectations. Now, when you talk about both Joel Embiid and James Harden, they already have really high level of expectations on them. So even if they play extremely well, that's still baked within their expectations. But when you talk about a guy in Tyrese Maxey, he also has a high level of expectations, but it's not 
not as high as those other two guys. But even with that being said, Tyrese still has that ability to take his game to the next level and put up those similar numbers to what those other guys are able to do. And we especially saw that in game two of the playoffs against the Nets, where he was able to put up over 30 plus points a game. So with that being said, I do see Tyrese Maxey as somewhat of an X factor. And if he's able to play at his very best, the Sixers are basically impossible to defeat. If you have three guys on your roster that have the capability of putting up 30 plus a night, that just makes your team extremely dangerous and extremely hard to beat. And I definitely see Tyrese Maxey as one of those players as he's proven it in a playoff setting even so far this season. Now, the next factor that I want to touch upon is the fact that he's that third guy on the Sixers roster. And what I mean by that is, of course, yeah, he is starting with those other two guys. But when you have a bunch of guys on your roster that are extremely talented and one of your best players on your team, it gives you that ability to mismatch their minutes. So what I mean by that is you can play James Harden and Joel Embiid together in the starting unit with Tyrese Maxey in the beginning, but you can take both James Harden and Joel Embiid out of the game and keep Tyrese in at that point and mismatch their minutes to the point where there's always at least one of those guys out there in the court at all times. So I think the fact that the Sixers have that extra guy in Tyrese that can play with their starting unit or play with their bench unit just makes them that much better and just gives you a full 48 minutes of one of those guys out there at all times, which makes it that much more difficult to defeat the Sixers and in my opinion just makes Tyrese Maxey an X factor for this roster. And overall, I really do think that Tyrese is an extremely talented young player on the Sixers roster that's going to be there for a long time and I honestly only think he's going to improve his game as the seasons do progress. I think he's that good at this point and he's only going to get better. I honestly see Tyrese as a potential superstar type talent. I think he's that good. Now, throughout the rest of these playoffs, I do think the Sixers have the potential to have a lot of success, but they're going to have an extremely difficult matchup in their second round matchup versus the Boston Celtics. Now, going into these playoffs, I did see the Celtics as one of the favorites to make it out of the East. They're an extremely talented younger team led by both Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, but they also have a lot of other guys around them to just make them a pretty deep roster. Now, when you look at the Sixers, I do think they have enough talent to beat the Celtics when you talk about Joel Embiid, James Harden, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, and other guys they have on the roster. But at this point, it's pretty clear that both of these teams have a lot of talent. The question is, and the real differentiating factor for me would be who has a better chemistry out there? Who's going to run the crisper offensive sets? Who's going to run the crisper defensive sets? And who's going to be more calm and productive once it comes down to the clutch time? In my opinion, those factors will determine who ends up winning this series between those two teams. So I will say I'm extremely excited to see what does end up happening in that matchup between those two heavyweights. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Tyrese Maxey is the most important player on the Sixers roster or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out guys.